Yes, people. Okay, let's get into it. Land Beach. All right. Stonebridge Complex. Um... It's 1997. I'm driving an MR2 Night Rider thing, jet black. Um, and I've gone over there to check one chick that I had over there. We lived on that Stonebridge estate. Shouldn't have been there, but I was there. No machine on me. Lacking. At that point, I was running with the love of money boy then. And, um, from my understanding, there was only two big things in the camp, you get it? The man who had hit the mattresses, truly was in a state of war, so I shouldn't even have been on the road. Um, I went to roll with one of the Max, but Colin Escobar, RIP, was like, nah. That machine's for everybody's head back in the safe house. Do you get it? With a man and world, you get it? Not for one man to take. Do you get it? Anyway, so I roll over to the Stonebridge complex, park up on this stage, go upstairs, but link the ting. One thing named Lisa. And I go into her flat, and there's another girl there. Straight away, I'm like, uh, and the girl was related to um I don't know the girl was the girlfriend of a guy who I didn't fuck with you get it? I'm kinda of funny like that. Like It's a time of war man, man's touchy in it. So boom, I'm going in the house, spoke to the girls, um my thing's cool, the other thing's like, have you got any weed? It's like she's trying to send me upstairs to get some weed from the weed house, you get it? But I had weed in the car, generally, so I was like, yeah, fuck that. I got some loud in the car. I'll get you a spliff, you get it? Or two spliffs, whatever, do you know like, you know, like that? And I just felt a bad vibe. So I called my team, brought her into the bedroom, saying, yeah, I don't trust that chick, man. Why the fuck is she here? You know, like that? Anyway, I'm cutting. And as I came out of the bedroom, I clocked the girl, putting the phone down, you know, like that, like, with locked eyes. And she put the phone down. I'm like, who are you calling? She's like, no, I'm just, I just called a cab, innit? I'm like, yeah? All right, cool. <laughs> Didn't believe her. Anyway, five minutes later, we've left me and the chick. She still wants this weed. Yeah, she's still screaming. She wants, she wants uh, me to give her a spliff. Got in the lift, gone downstairs. Yeah. Um. Got outside. The cab was actually there. To the right, my car was to the left. So I come out the door. Looked to the right, seen, gone left, told her to wait there, gone to my whip, opened up the passenger side. Did you get it? But something's telling me like, yo, brother, you're in danger. I've got a good sixth sense like that. So I'm a bit nervous, and I don't get nervous. But at this point, yeah, I know, I mean, I know I've got a problem. So I opened up the passenger side, and I've reached over to where the lad was, but I've dropped my car keys down by where the um, ambrate goes. Yeah, so my car keys, yeah, I can't even get them. Yeah, plus I'm watching and, bam, who's come through the door? Lambie, Malik and D. They've looked to the right, they've looked to the right first, seen the cab, looked to the left, seen me, do you get it? To me and Mark's eyes have locked. I'm like, what, well, on, family? I've been looking for you, you know? He's like, yeah. I've been looking for you too, family. Malik's gone, burn him! Mark's oh, popped off. 
So I'm blowing behind the cars, you get it? But he fluffed his lines, you know, like that. Carl, Mark ain't a gun, man. Let's get this right. Mark's never bodied nothing. He's never licked no one down yet. No doubt. He blew up off of Smitty's work, mate. Right? Yeah, straight. Yeah. So my man's got the thing on full auto. Do you get it? So from his touch to trigger, every bullet's come out. 10 of them, 12 of them, whatever was in the chamber. It's come out in one thing. He ain't got no bullets left now. I'm in the corner. Yeah? Like literally in the corner. He's there, maybe 12 feet, 10 feet away, whatever. Mallet them a bit further to the left, you get it? I'm like, you're dead now, pussy out. 